Uh, so let's see. It's the 22nd. Uh, I don't need to do anything else, it looks like. So I'm just going to study. I'm going to read a book. I thought I had a book called The Divine Way. I guess I'll read manuals? Oh! Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool that both of those increased. So, <clears throat> anyway. When the class ended for the day, or for the semester, immediately the online portion of the site, it disappeared. <laughs> Nanako wrote a grocery list. So basically, like, everything fucking disappeared. We didn't get a chance to see our final grade or anything like that. It just all fucking disappeared. Now, me... And all the other friends that I've liked talked with that are, took this class are fucking terrified that our teacher decided to delete the grades and delete everything about the class in order to like get payback for everyone reporting him because we don't fucking know what happened none of us do and that's what's terrifying about it because it could literally be anything um Okay, so it's 23rd. Nothing happens during the day, so I'll continue reading that book. And so at some point I need to call the school. I need to be like, "Hey, what is my grade on th in this class?" Because listen, I know that my teacher has been reported by multiple students for being literally terrible and like not being helpful not teaching anyone not responding promptly and all this other stuff oh god and I'm gonna try and figure out what my grade is because I calculated my grade I know for a fact I have either a C or a B there is no way I failed the class. And I know that for sure. For fucking sure. Too much for Nanako to finish all by herself. Yeah. I'm helping Nanako. Thank you, big bro. No problem, Nanako. She seems to be doing well. But you decided to double check her work anyway. Good. Be a good brother. It's not like she has a good dad anyway. You had homework as well, however, it would only take you a few days to do it. But you promised Nanako that you would help her with her homework every night. Do your homework during the daytime, you can start on your homework today. Um, there is one problem with that though, is that there is a book I need to go get. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go uh get that book. I'm gonna go into town, I'm gonna get the book I need. Uh, but okay, I keep I keep cutting myself off from this fucking story, but I need to figure out what the hell's going on with my grade, what happened with that class, like if the teacher actually did do something that is illegal and grounds for termination and probably some other stuff from the school. Because I just fucking want my grade. I want that grade. You want to know why I want that grade? It's because that grade, that is the determining factor of my associate's degree. If I pass that class, I have an associate's degree right now. I just need to go do the fucking graduation ceremony or whatever the fuck it is. That's literally all I need to do. Can you believe that? Who is this? Is this? Just 
Check social link rank. Rank eight. Ooh, nope, 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 nope. What is going on right here now? Oh, it's just showing all my personas. No. I'm sorry, but I cannot. You're at eight. If I go any higher with you, I'm dating you, and I don't want to date you. I don't want to cheat on Chie. So, yeah, I got to fucking call the school, figure out what the hell's going on with my shit. And then, hopefully, hopefully, I can pass my fucking class. See, if I manage to pass my class, I'm done. I'm done with my associate's degree. I get it. I can go to the other four-year college I need to go to, and I can just finish everything. I can be done. I can be fucking done, and it'll be great. God, I just want to be done with it. I don't know where the fuck to meet Yosuke at. I'm just gonna walk around until I figure out where the fuck he is. He's probably not at the school, but I'll check there anyway. Yeah. Man, I'm so worried about my fucking grade. Cause, like, that's literally the last thing I fucking need for me to pass the class. So I'm just like, maybe, maybe it'll happen one day. I hope it happens one day. Because then I'm just done. I'm just, there's nothing left for me to do. That's it. It's over. It's over. God. In other news... That has been one of the th things stressing me the past few weeks was fucking dealing with those finals and then also like finishing up just finishing up my schooling in general. Uh, so I recently helped a friend move out of their apartment complex because they're in a toxic living environment. I'm friends with like pretty much all of their roommates, right? But the problem is that, uh. What the fuck's going on with you, dude? Namatame, I don't know who the fuck you are, but I. But ban, dude. You need some help, brah. So. There's four people in this apartment complex. Or this, like, apartment, I guess. There's one person who just works, sleeps, does their own thing. Two people that are in an abusive relationship with each other. And then there was my friend. Now, I am friends with all of them. But it was... The living situation was so bad because every night the people that are in the abusive relationship, they'd be screaming at each other, hitting each other, biting, like, biting, scratching, tearing apart each other, like, any, any number of ways that you could maim someone, they would do to each other, and then they'd, like, be suddenly having sex really loudly and all this other stuff, and all of the yelling was getting to my friend. And personally, like, I don't live there. They're all my friends. But, you know. Fuck, what was I about to say? But, you know, I feel bad. I felt bad for my friend. I wanted to help them out. Like, so I helped get him out of there. And there have been no repercussions for me because... I was able to completely sneak them out of their apartment without anyone noticing. And as of right now, I am the only person who, like, n like everyone on this channel, you guys know I've done this now. 
No one else does. Yeah. Literally no one fucking else does. Because I was able to help them move out quietly. I got a bed out. I got all of their shit out of the, their apartment so f- quickly. And there have been no repercussions at all from it. And so I'm glad for that. And now I also got to look at what the heck's going on with Kanji right now. Uh, Kanji called the boy here. Here's the stuff I promised you. No complaining, okay? Kanji hand the boy what appears to be a bunny doll. It's complete with clothes, a ribbon, a hat, and an umbrella. It's very elaborate. Whoa, this is incredible. Where'd you buy it? Who cares? But I want one too. Oh, well, I got one for you. Kanji hand the boy another buddy. It's complete with clothes, shoes, a cap, and a soccer ball. It's very elaborate. For me? Thanks, but where'd you buy it? Er. This old man here made it. Cool! <laughs> what are you telling him for? You made this? You got a problem with that? If you think it's so creepy, then give it. Wow, you're so cool! Hey, can you make me something else? Mom loves this kind of stuff. Huh? Sure. You promised! I'm gonna go give this to Sanachan. Thanks, mister! Kanji's such a good boy. Not that old, damn it. Yeah, you are. He <laughs> said I'm cool. It was pretty amazing. Yeah, but it's not like sewing's good for anything. But you know, it ain't a bad feeling. Thanks, huh? Ah, uh, it was nothing. Kanji with his embarrassed smile looks more mature than usual. You feel your relationship with Kanji has grown yet deeper. Awesome, rank 5. God, we're so low on the ranks with Kanji. Good. He's so happy. Good. So now we're heading home. So back to my story time shit. Uh, I helped my friend get out of their situation. None of that shit storm hit me. You guys are the only ones to know about everything that happened. But yeah, that abusive relationship was terrible for my friend because they're best friends with one of the people in the relationship. And then the other people in the apartment just treated them like shit all the time. Like, it was terrible. It was terrible. So, now, all that is done with. There's just nothing left. They're gone. But, that's not even the end of everything that's happened. So, I will tell you more after this break. Let's look over Nanako's homework. I have to write three proverbs for my homework today. Oh, I know one. It's, um, a rolling stone gathers no moss. Dad always tells me that one. Who can that be? Yosuke and Teddy came by. We had a little event going on in Jeunesse today. Here's a souvenir for you, Nanako-chan. Oh, are you doing your summer homework? I feel sorry for you. Alright, I'll help you, Nanako-chan. Um, Proverbs. Ooh, uh, oh, I have one. Kogito Ego Sum. <sighs> he probably just, like, literally said some sort of persona line or something. Came close to everyone. Dude, all my relationships are getting close today. But yeah, now that my friend is out, everything should be a lot better for everyone in that entire situation. And now I'm going to work on homework. Yes. So. Now let's continue on with even more shit that's happened, right? So, on top of that... 
So, ever since one of my dogs passed away, there's a video about that on my channel. I don't want to talk about that, but ever since one of the, my dogs passed away, uh, my other dog, Otis, has been really depressed. Like, he's been super anxious. He's been, like, just sad a lot of the time. So, uh, my mom found someone that, uh, like, my mom is friends with someone who has her own dog, and we take our dog Otis over to her place to, uh, dog, sit our dog so they can just play around and have a good time and all that sort of shit. That's about something I remember. Hmm. Oh, more people are coming over. I've heard from Yosuke that Nanako Chan's doing her homework, so I'm here to help you. You're writing an essay? Beside on topic? Not yet? Let's see, how about the time when we went to the festival together? That's right, the Ikiyaki was so good, I had so much fun. Good. God, all of these, all of the relationships are deepening. Anything important on the 26th? Chie social link event. So, if Chie calls, I'll go out with her, but if she doesn't, I'm just gonna chill. Chie is calling, I'm going out with her. Yeah. So, what fucking else is there? Um. Your room. She begged to see it after training, so you brought her here. Just me, my girlfriend, in my room. It's pretty clean. Trying to keep the place tidy for when you move out. Oh, well, how did the room you had back home look? Okay, I need to, I need to figure out the correct answer to this. So while I look up the answer to this... I'm going to continue talking about what happened. What the fuck? I picked the wrong one. Okay, so... Um... So, we bring our dog Otis over to her place so that she can dog sit Otis and, like, Otis and her dog can play around and have a good time and all that stuff. Um... But... Last time, my mom got home, it was around 6, and... Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with it was messier because that looks like the <laughs> it was messier. Makes you feel better. She looks a bit happy. My room is full of posters and stuff. Ha ha ha. Um. Oh, um, I'm sorry to barge in like this. She seems to be panicking for some reason. It's because it's me and my girlfriend in my fucking room. What's going on? Oh, what? Maybe both of us together. That that sounds good. Mm. Yeah. I don't I don't quite know what's going on, but Wristbands, okay. Ah, uh, okay, that's pretty fucking cute. Oh my god! Ah, uh, love Ah, uh, I know, I know, I'm not reading things out loud, but fuck, what the fuck is going on? Hello? Allowed her to accept and overcome her weaknesses, awakened her heart's true power. Oh! Whoa! My new power. I love you. Oh! Ah! 
I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I love Chie. I love Chie. Oh, uh, we're at the maximum break with Chie. Oh my God, you guys, what the fuck is going on? That has established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Futsunushi, the ultimate form of the Chariot Arcana. Dude, what the fuck is this? Like, me and Chi are having this romantic moment, and then our personas are appearing in the real world, flying around, like, spinning and doing magical bullshit, and we're like, Yeah. Yeah, I love you too. I fucking love this though. This is fucking great. I formed a bond that cannot be broken. Oh my god. What should you do? Hug her. I don't care. I don't care that you're sweaty. I'm giving you a hug. Oh my god. That's just like you. I'll say that's just, just like, like me. Idiot. Ah! We stood there hugging for five years. Okay. Fuck, dude. I have so many stories to tell, and that would have been the great place to tell my other story. Okay, so I'm gonna real quick go through the fucking story about my dog sitter. So yeah, me and my mom, we take Otis over to our dog sitter's place so Otis can play with her dog and not feel as depressed and lonely. And so my mom gets home at six o'clock. We She goes over to our dog sitter's place. She can hear the dogs barking, but there's no answer from the door. So then she comes back home she's like she must the dog sitter must be out like walking dogs or something so just go back in like half an hour or something so i wait in about for about half an hour i go back over there knock on the door dogs are barking don't hear anything else i'm waiting for 15 minutes and uh So I'm waiting for like 15 minutes. And there's no answer from the... Do I feel happy when I'm alone? No. <laughs> so... It's been 15 minutes. There's no answer. And it's like 6.45 at this point. So I'm like, okay, I, I'm i going to go back to my house. I'm going to go get my mom. I'm going to see what the hell's going on. So I go back. I see my mom. and I, Or I wake up my mom because she's asleep. And I'm like, hey, it's been like half an hour. There's still no answer or anything like that. Me and my mom, we go over. And, um... And we're trying to f figure out, like, if something's happened. And the person has their, um, like, balcony door open. There's a TV playing. Like, you can hear the TV. We can hear the dogs barking. And I'm like, 
okay. But, like, my mom's trying to get a hold of the person, and I'm like, okay, this person is either hurt or they're, like, in trouble. Like, no, yeah, they're in trouble, basically. They either hurt themselves or they're being robbed. Because I can't imagine at any point in time where we can hear their phone going off in their apartment. They're not answering their phone. Their glass door is open. The TV is on. And the dogs are there right around the time that they would know that we'd be going there to pick up our dog. We can't imagine at any point, or I couldn't imagine at any point, that this would be normal. So I, I'm like, tell my mom, listen, like, we have to do something. She's probably hurt. There's probably something wrong. We need to get in there. And my mom goes, gets uh, one of the maintenance guys that works for the apartment complex. Uh, he climbs over, gets into her apartment, and we hear him going, uh, ma'am, are you okay? Ma'am, are you okay? And there's, uh, no answer from her that we could hear at least. And then he opens the door. She's collapsed on the ground. Me and my mom tell the guy that we'll take over from here. We'll figure out what's going on. I take Otis back to our place. And then I, um, that's probably Kanji to help out. Yep. Kanji can. Good. So, yeah, we're trying to figure out, like, we get in there, she's on the ground, she's barely answering us, like, mom's like, hey, are you okay, and we hear her go, I'm fine, and she's just laying on the ground, and it looks like she may have hurt her neck or something, because she's pretty old, and we're like, okay, we're calling 911, so we call the ambulance, I wait outside for the ambulance, uh, fire trucks get here. They help her out. Hello. It turns out she has diabetes. And so she has diabetes. Her blood sugar was at 30 because she recently got a new insulin pump thing. And it pumped too much insulin in and got rid of a lot of her blood sugar or something like that. And, uh she was at 30 which is the lowest she's ever gotten before and apparently if it reaches the 20s that can cause instant death so if we weren't there then she probably would have died and that's terrifying to think about but that's what happened so my mom like said okay we're getting a key to your apartment because this is really bad like you can't go through this shit alone like this and so, now we have a key to her apartment. She's okay now. She's back to her old insulin pump until they can completely figure out what's up with the new one. But god, that was fucking terrifying, dude. So, that is the second stressful thing that has happened lately. But wait, there's more after this commercial break. Mm. Wanting to come here, but it's still embarrassing to show up alone, you know? I should probably check to see how I should answer to this. The Lover's Arcana. I do need to hang out with Risei a lot more, honestly. Um... So, I just ordered takeout. Gee. <laughs> okay. Okay, Risa. I kind of get what she means, though. I like eating out compared to just getting takeout. Parents were actually pretty strict. <laughs> Damn, I'm sorry, dude. 
I didn't really have many friends. I feel that, bro. Though I guess that couldn't be helped since I hardly ever showed up for school. I triple feel that, bro. Er, that's enough talk about that. What a depressing subject, huh? Let's talk about something fun. After all, I don't want to waste the time we have together. It's so great that I came to this town and met you. Really, I'm serious. Rise smiles naturally. You feel your relationship deep Rise has grown deeper. Awesome. The Rise Link is on level two. So why don't I start by asking what kind of girl you like? Okay. Awesome. Okay, that we have now hung out with Risa for today. Now we're helping Nanako again. Um, what day is it? It's twenty eighth. picture of it on the shirt that dad bought what's called a platypus all right about platypuses okay and they have poisonous claws question is that the male that has the poison claws fuck dude I don't fucking know what the hell I guess I have to look this up fuck I don't know Male, female, only on male, it's male, correct, you're smart, yeah I am, oh man I somehow managed to do that.